Now I thought the Defiant was a um, a tricky one. This is the Playmates Romulan Warbird, and this is oh hello. I've got cobwebs in there. Hi guys, Ralph here. Playmates toys. This was the donation from St Christopher's in London. They are hospice. They are a they are really brilliant. I bought this off eBay. Well, I bought the, the whole lot of them, uh, the eight of the models from eBay for about 40 something pound. Not too much for all these. No guarantees any are working, but three and three so far, they're all working. This one, it's a little bit damaged underneath because this never came with, yeah, it never came with a stand. It just came as is. It's same as the Enterprise D that came, the same batch with them. I have this one as well, which came with the batch. So it's exactly the same. There was never a stand with it, which is a problem. So obviously you're gonna display it on whatever. Ooh, that's gonna be an issue. Um, yes. So these were all, to me, they look like they've been stored inside a, a shed somewhere. I think our best option on restoring this one and showing you off is to, um, just straight away takes the pieces. The top section, I can get into that now. The underneath section, I have got hairs and cobwebby things. I mean, at least it's been probably stuck in a shed forever. So I think for taking this to pieces, da, 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 I'm just gonna rip all the screws out. Hopefully they're all the same size. But I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna clean off parts to start with. There's not many decals on here, stickers. There's just the one on the front which I could probably remove because I think, I don't think that centre bit comes off. I think that's as it is. I think I could leave that where it is. On the back, I mean, these are a lovely model. The problem with some of these is why, seeing as Romulans are green and warp engines are green on, on Romulans, why are these blue? It's not bad details. Again, these are just toys. Playmates in about 93, I think it was. Yes, we had a few. They were nice. Done. So, without any further ado, let's get this a little bit cleaner. So I'm using a um, degreaser. Use the... Oh, not very good degreaser, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like the buttons do press. So, potentially, this might be a good one to do. Now oh, look at that. Easily. Yeah, look at that. Filthy. I mean, I'm not going for a full restore on these. I'm going for a, for a, it works and it's happy. And yeah, I've got toothbrushes, which will go into the grills. The degreaser will just sit on top. It's only like soapy water, just a little bit more than. If you want to use soapy water if you're cleaning any of these yourself, fine. We will get into the electrics later on. We'll have to go inside later if possible. So see, yeah, see, that's already looking way better. So I need to clean, strip, see what we can do and see how deep we need to go in with this one. So she said, I've done with clean on the top. Nice, nice. See, I remove all the screws. They're over there in the proper configuration like that. I'm going to take the battery compartment off. Ah, that's why it won't come off. So, oh, hold on. Looks like we're four for four. No corrosion. So, let me get these two off as well. Oh, there's an off switch there. That's interesting, because none of the others seem to. I've either removed it because they didn't want it. Ah. Uh, in there. See, the, just taking this to pieces because I need to get to the parts. There's different screws here, so I need to keep them separate. There we go. Uh, that, done. So hopefully now this should come straight. Why is there a switch on there? There should be demo or not, I suppose. All right, so there's cables running the top. The cable running on the bottom as well, to be honest. That goes from the battery. So that's a problem. Does that come off? That looks like that just attaches on top of there, and I think it's just stubborn. I don't think... Oh, that does come off there. Cool. Reinforcing metal parts holding the cells in, which is quite strange. Right, so 
So I need to try to see if somebody's at the door. Um, why is it metal? Oh, it's not metal, it's just coated in, coated in metal anyway. It gives me enough room to get that out to clean. Oh, it's disgusting, isn't it? Okay. Right, so more cleaning job coming up. I don't think we needed any... That's a little iffy. Should try the batteries, to be honest. The inside there's fine if I want to get into to dismantle. There's a lot of cables running around there because they're all from the battery pack circuit board there. Speakers inside here, four screws, which I don't think I need to do. So let me just, that's better, disassemble, well, clean this up and see how bad it is. Now she's obviously in a few pieces, but I have got the batteries in. So let's go for the first button on the back. See there? Like a cruising mode. Problem is, only one light works. Okay, me really. Cool. So I've got. It's either. So I've already figured something out anyway, that the, ta the the switch that's on there just turns the lights off, doesn't turn the sound off. So it's either the cables that run up to there, which I think I already tried taking off. And a screwdriver. Pop this out. Thank you. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. I see the problem. Now I haven't got to go into here. I need to get into this part here. There's a cable off. There we go. This red cable here. Now I assume it just goes positive, negative, which is fine. I assume it just goes onto here with the other red one. So let me just try touching this. Cable, switch underneath there. That's the one that works. That won't work. Oh my. Doesn't seem to want to. One thing on that side will do. Here it goes. Can you see it? Keep flashing. There we go. It just wants to go on that side of the switch over here, so I want to resolder that back on. Cool. So another one with electrical problems. But I haven't got to dig too, too deep. And fortunately, no spiders. I might have done that myself, but these are, oh, when was 93? 20, 31 years ago? No, come on. That's ridiculous. So yeah, so does it, it came off. It's fine, these things happen. So let me re-solder that onto there. Solder now, now switch back on. I need some solder, which I've got. I'll solder onto there. You can only see that, it's, it's duller than anything. Soldering is just whatever. Um, I might put some hot glue on there or something just to hold it in place, but it's just me putting over back over anyway. So I'm, it's, it's not a big issue. Right, soldered done. I put tape on here so it will not pull when I pull this up and I've also put hot glue on there to hold in in place it does ever <clears throat> the tape fails and that's just going to give it a little bit extra there. So that's just about set so I can now be steady pull right over onto there um, Pull the cable through on there, which I'll probably do with putting the top side of the under half on first and then backwards. I want that on there anyway. Cool, cool, and cool. Put that inside there. Ah, good. It's holding the cables in, the nacelles in place. Put that on there. There's no screws holding the top section in, so we're good. And that will hold in place. Now, just to prove it works, oh, I've got a really dirty part there. Right, just to prove that it does work, 
uh, port and sell. They're never very good. Carbon and sell. See? All works. So another one, I'll actually will show you this now. Look, the switch is here. Um, so, uh, port and sell. It just doesn't light itself up. It's weird. But I'll try and start that up and then it lights up. It is absolutely diabolical how this lights up. Or should we say, lack of lights up. <sighs> yeah. But not to worry. So, right, I'm going to put all the screws back in. I'm going to tidy that bit there. It looks like a bit of tape's been on there. Oh, I'll actually rub off that, to be honest. There we go. I mean, so far, I'm glad there were the first two of these were just a clean up. Third and fourth, a little bit electrical. Luckily, with the Defiant, it was what it was. So I'm happy with that. So I've got my, if you can see over there, they're all in the, the formation of this being like that. There are screws which are different size, so I have to be careful. And the, um, the screw head is a little different as well. So I'm just going to couple in place. The back one's in, I think. I need a bigger screwdriver for that, or a different screwdriver. Holds everything in place, and then I can carry on just putting the rest of the screws in, and it's not going to cry at me too much, although it will do that. So, one sec. So with all screws in place, battery pack goes over, the switch is on. <laughs> A bit of dirt there. It's actually not bad. There's a lot of this bit. I thought there were actually parts of the the paintwork or the the plastic had been stretched and whatever else. But it's it's just it's not. It's it's a light painting, rounded for sure detail. Cool. So I have a bit of paint there I've missed. I think there's a couple of bits of paint I've missed on this so far. I don't want to use a scalpel, but I have not much choice at the minute. Be very de delicate with this. I do have one of these plastic scrapers, which are pretty good for this. So, yeah, a little bit of dirt inside there. Plastic on plastic, fine, as long as it's, it is sharp, but it'll never do anything untoward. A little bit of red on there for some reason. So let's go through this again. Light and light. Shame on this, it doesn't actually light up too much, but, Alexa, garage off. Okay. See, it looks better now. <laughs> this is dark, but it, but it isn't green. It def definitely isn't green. Even the end of the lights are all right now. So, it's a lot better when it's in the dark, but it's not got any sort of daylight attempt but, um, yeah, being useful at being lit. So cool. I mean, that part on there, I can't do anything with that. That's the um, some crap underneath the stick. I could potentially take that off, redo the sticker, put some double-sided tape on there. It wouldn't be as good as. I always thought this part here, when I did the model kit for this, was a, a production error. It looks like where the, um, the, the, the injection moulding would go through to. But that, they made that the phaser. Although sometimes they made these parts the phaser as well. Hmm. Don't know if it's a MacGuffin or what, I don't know. But cool, the Romulan Warbird. Nicely restored, well, nicely cleaned and repaired now. There's little bits that I can do off camera, nothing major though, absolutely fine. Now it's 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 cobwebless in there, <laughs> cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, consider being a Patreon or a YouTube member. Help me out with a donation. Anything will do. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye for now.